Dear sons, before you enter the order of the diaconate, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience as the Apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith in word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition. You who are prepared to embrace the celibate state, do you resolve to keep forever this commitment as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in the service of God and man? I do. Do all of you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life? And in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you, to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God, and indeed for the whole world? Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ? of whose body and blood you are ministers at the altar. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will mercifully pour out his gra the grace of his blessing on these, his servants, whom in his kindness he raises to the holy order of the diaconate. Let us give...
Thank you.